Yes, ni siku nyingine sana nzuri mwana Afrika Mashariki. Ni matumaini yangu unaendelea kuwa vizuri. Yango majina ni Alan Hinjewele na karibu kwenye Utamaduni Express. Hii ni Tokota Live ambayo inakujia kwenye Utamaduni Express. Na leo uh, tumekuletea package nzuri kabisa kwa sababu tumevuka mipaka uh, kutoka East Africa ama Afrika Mashariki na tumekwenda uh, mpaka kwa ndugu zetu wa West Africa na hapa uh, tumekutana na Vice President of ECOWAS Youth Council and Chief Executive of uh, Chief Executive Officer wa Gatnet.cl Leon. Hapa na mzungumzi ya uh, Bihana Cargo. Tumezungumza naye mengi kwa kwa kirefu kwenye topic yetu ya leo ambayo inazungumzia hasa hasa masuala eh, ya vijana na uongozi. Amezungumza mengi uh, na experience ambayo vijana kutoka Afrika ya Magharibi huko eh, nikimaanisha West Africa nini ambavyo wanapitia, nini ambavyo ECOWAS inafanya. Na sisi kama wana Afrika Mashariki basi tuweze kupata funzo ili tuweze kuwa na Afrika ambayo inatuhitaji kama ilivyokuwa mtoweta watu Allen Hinjewele akiwa uh, anazungumza uh, na Hana Kapo. Um, hi everyone, my name is Hana Kapo and I am the Vice President of Inclusion and Engagement in the ECOWAS Youth Council Chapter Sierra Leone. How many youth in general? Um, I would say 60% of the population is uh, made up of youth in Sierra Leone. All right. For for some of East Africans and uh, Africans in globe, they would love to know what's the long form of ECOWAS and what's the role What's the role of your youth council? So, ECOWAS Youth Council is in all 15 West Africa states. Um, it is there to mandate and oversee all youth organizations and also try to oversee that peace is maintained. Trying to promote peace and security in the particular country that it operates. It's like a youth, it's like a youthful body, just like what I said that um, get youths on the, their branch and oversee them and also go according to their mandates. And for how long has it been organized and taking place? The Youth Council. Um, ECOWAS Youth Council at the general has been established since 2017 but was established in Sierra Leone last year by, uh, by the president formerly Sheku Foyo who established it in Sierra Leone last year around March. March 38, yeah. All right, March 38 was the starting point of the ECOWAS Youth Council until now. How and what achievement have you guys made for out of it? Um, ECOWAS Youth Council in Sierra compromises of youth leaders, youth leaders that have organizations. So mm. when we come together, we have been able to perform activities like working with the NACOVAC. Um, that is, we have, uh, it's, it's the, the body that tried to regulate um, COVID-19. We have been able to work with them in terms of promoting and sending out the awareness message on COVID-19 and its preventive measures. We have been also be able to have a youth farm in two of our regions, wherein we engage you to be in this youth farm and then after others or a food uh, field we this um others we transfer to our prisons market places um we as well have been able to sign partnership with lord and lot of agency and met with different stakeholders because ecowas you can as well work with the government of the day so we have been able to see how best we complement the activities of government and maintain peace and security in country all right, that's very marvelous uh, for a start, and 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 uh, it shows a clearly map on where are you guys going. That shows a clearly yes. map. So I want you to pass me through the, yes. the. All right, so I want you to pass me through the major major importance of how youth are supposed or aged to to participate fully or in leadership. What are the skills gained upon fulfilling this? I think youth being at the front point, there is a lot of positive. Um, response because in our country and in Africa, you mostly, you know, used to cause violence, uh, especially these politicians. They use youth to cause problems, and when they get one, they want the youth gets in trouble. And that's why, even if you find out in the statistics of prison, wherein they locked people up, youth are more. Uh, youth are more of the people who are there. So when youth involve in positive things, when youth involve in developmental things and things that makes them go, I think it's also um, add up to the economic growth of the country they are. Yes, because as I just as I'm saying, like like, like now, even in terms of agriculture, youth are there. In terms of advocacy, you find out that youth have this enthusiastic in them, like they want to do something. That's why we are always encouraging them that without the government providing 
platform or employment, you have to do something. You just have to make the move and do something. And that's why people recognize this. Yes, this person is doing something. So with or without the government's help, we just have to do something for ourselves. Because no, so we, we're tired of being an object of violence. So by that point, I'm taking a notion that moves make a move. Eh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't make a move, how people recognize you or see that this person is very serious? You know, because if we're always at the back saying, hey, government is not giving us this, government is not giving us that, that's why I should involve in drugs or involve in cliques or in gangs. That doesn't make any move. Mm. It doesn't make any sense. So why can't I just move and do something? Whatever it is, whatever, what even is, is car wash, agriculture, whatever it is, just put yourself in a positive you know, position. That will take you somewhere. Yeah. From, from zero to hero. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, as we are winding up, uh, I want you to advise <laughs> now that the youth of the youth from East Africa and across the global, I want you to advise them on the importance of participating fully and getting front to do positive stuff and uh, leaving the negativity. And as you say, that second point there, that we are the ones who are used mostly to create or to correlate with the violence and some other stuff that are not taking us anywhere. So please kindly advise us as, as, as your position that you have there back in Sierra Leone. You kindly advise the East African youth and across the globe. Uh, tell them that youth uh, like to see the future of our nations. Um, okay, so if we want to see that Africa is a place of peace, if we want to say that Africa is comfortable, then we as youth need to come on board. If we evolve ourselves in positive, in positive things, there is no way, I repeat, there is no way a politician or someone can use money to fool us for us to cause violence or evolve in any negative things or even give us drugs when it's time for election. We see how youth are killed, how youth evolve in negative things. Let us start to do things for ourselves. Let us start leaving our comfort zone and start doing something. There are a lot of things, there are a lot of creative ideas ideas that we can bring out of ourselves. Just like what I was saying, we don't have to wait for government. Because the more we depend on them, that's why they always tell us that we are lazy. Which, of course, we are not lazy. I think we need to start affirming ourselves that we can do something. All we need to do is just to make a move. At that time, people will now start respecting us as youth, our politicians, our government leaders, stakeholders in our country will start acknowledging that this youth and ready. And We'll start having youth presidents because if we start um, involving ourselves in positive things, then more leadership position and opportunities will be given to us without doubting what our capabilities are. All right. So uh, thank you, thank you very much, and we. Are... As, oh, you speak Swahili too. Asante sana. Karibu. Karibu, karibu sana. All right. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Hannah from uh, Siori on one of the countries that has ECOWAS and is belonging on ECOWAS. For the be benefit of East Africans, I, I might say that ECOWAS uh, is the economic community of West African states or countries that are Benin, Burkina Faso, uh, Cap Verde, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, the Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea Bissau. Liberia, Mali, Nigeria, uh, Niger, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and Togo. And I was speaking directly from the youth representative on the ECOWAS uh, Youth Council. So this is Utama Duni Express and this is Alan Nigel uh, broadcasting live from Tali Salaam, Tanzania. And this is our HQ. We call it uh, Midun, the online media. And we are allocated on Bezi Beach. And we are allocated at Shamo Tower. Right, Sanda Sanda, Alan Nigel Kwa Bulletin, Hins, Hurina. Uh, Tunazidi kusema soa fikri nazidi kuitaji Sana sana kwa mba utisikiliza kubitia www Dwa pinu radio si oro tz Na wewe mbae una atufatile kubitia mitanda yoto kijamii Kwa mana Facebook, Instagram na Twitter Kama midundo online media Tunasema sana sana na uh, package hii Itatupio uh, YouTube Pamoja na SoundCloud kwa yokaribu Uweze kusikiliza na kushare yale kwa mengi Ya Afrika mashariki Tunendela kusikiliza Tumadun Express Na mimi ni Alan Henjewele Sana